Hey guys, I want to show you something really cool. How do you get these huge jumps in organic traffic on a website that only has about nine pages and it's leapfrogged above all the other resellers in that industry? Here's the original page, 13,700 results. There's the one we created. <laughs> okay. And then everything else below that, these guys were already here for like a long time, a year, something like that, half a year to a year. Uh, but they've been around a lot longer and they have bigger, more powerful websites and stuff. So how did we leapfrog them? I did dive in and look. And I'm going to point out the two things that I see that we did that have really caused this to happen. I think it's really important to study. So the first is this, and this is to answer any questions people have about it. Let's look at the referring domains, right? Um, how many referring domains do they have? About 62, okay? You know what's interesting about these referring domains when we look at them? They all belong to us. All of these domains belong to us, okay? Pretty soon we'll be knitting through them with all of the pieces done. The external authority linking, the schema. I mean, all of this is going to get embedded in this whole thing is going to explode. So that's one piece. It's really important to keep in mind. By the way, how do you know that they're all ours? I'll show you. The referring IPs, <laughs> there are two. Matter of fact, part of our controlled test was to do all the backlinks on a single IP address along with the main site. So that site plus 60 more that are backlinking it are all on the same server, okay? This right here, 51.12.72 is right here. 51.12.72, it's ours, it's our server. Then you got another one down here, 18, 18. Okay, having said that, this was added to do the test of what if we need more than one IP for the backlinking. We think, and it had a modest seven total links on that website, okay? Just enough to get caught, noticed by Google. And we think that that's important. We think this is a really important thing. So it's good. As we continue to grow our, our empires of all these sites, we'll knit together more uh, server space, you know, knit together. We'll get more servers into play. Benefits absolutely everyone. For every next server that we add in, we can actually move sites around or create backlinks through them. There's all the stuff we can do. Okay, so all of the backlinks are ours and this thing slammed to the number two position. Why isn't it the number one? Because Google knows that the number one guy is the first guy to ever mention IT or 100. We're not supposed to be able to beat him because he is the original author, you know, of the term, right? So we should be completely content with our number two because it's what we should have expected on that term anyway. Now, let me show you the other thing that's really, really important about this tiny little nine page site that beat all the resellers to the top. Okay. We link out to 19 domains in the content. There's links in the writing or on the images uh, that link out. One of them is the actual main website we link out to. Okay. And that makes sense. We link out to a couple of their pages. It's just in our content. Now what? We link out to um, Newswire about the event. These things have to do with with the product itself and the company itself. So we link out to them. They're totally authored or, or high authority for the topic. Then we linked out to another release about the same thing. And then we linked out to some studies that have to do with the technology to justify the technology, right? And um, finally, we've got this small link down here. It's kind of funny because a couple of these uh, links that we put out there actually force these things to the front page of Google right next to us because we link to them. Novel extra nasal tear stimulation, pivotal study results, right? Check this out. <laughs> if I come down, there it is. <laughs> That's the one, number seven. It didn't used to be here, now it is. Another one we linked out to and now it's there is this guy right here. Okay, so by pushing um, links out to authority sites, we give them some credit and some ground. But do you know what? Both of those links are below us. We're up here. You know what we've been learning? How to do this right. So not only are we going to knit the crosslink smartly through all the other websites with limits set to 
what they should be. We looked this stuff up, but we and and built the tools accordingly to make sure that we can follow that so we don't spam anything. And that's why we're not getting hit for coming off the same IP address. We're not spamming backlinks. Second thing, um, now that we understand what we're doing with authority links, we just go get a bunch of them and put them out. You wonder how you do something like that? I'll show you. Let's go to um, spyfoo.com just to get an idea of how this works, right? I'm going to put in a keyword, okay? Just whatever keyword. All right. And um, for this keyword, I want to see the SERP analysis. Okay, and it's going to tell me who's ranking number one, two, three. You know what I would be doing if I was doing this fresh? I'd be looking for .gov, .org, like that, that .gov, that .gov, you know, .org, .gov, um, .edu, this one here, and then things like the Newswire, things like who's who, like who invented the product, anything and everything that allows me to create expertise, experience, authority, and trust. And the more I build that into the pages of my websites, the, the less risky my websites become for Google to rank. Uh, they, they're going to become more authoritative for that reason. We're learning so much. Another one that we learned before I forget is just a different thing I want to point out because it kind of matters anyway. The backlinks that we created, oh, the backlinks pointing into the site. I want to say this. There, there. I put a little tag on the end of each so I can make sure I'd recognize mine. I have them here. They're all no followed. Why are they no followed? There are very few that are do follow. As a matter of fact, I can show you that. Why are the rest no followed? Because we have an ad, a big banner ad in the middle of every single page of all of our websites that point to where you can go get the product, right? Perfect thing to do if you're an affiliate or a partner, or setting up sites at a distance that's about the information, but then you've got the ad to say, hey, if you want to buy one of these things, go here, right? So having said that, why no follow? Because otherwise it would be spam, right? We'd have the ad in every single page, thousands of pages, and it would be spam. But you know what we learned? No follow does not kill the benefit. Maybe it did once, but Google says, huh uh it doesn't. You know what nofollow means? You're suggesting to Google that you don't want to pass juice because you're afraid of passing juice because it might be spam. You know what Google reserves the right to do? Override your decision on that and pass some kind of scoring, whatever they would call it, alternate juice or alternate scoring, um, that they think is worth um, what, what you're trying to do. Because they'd say, okay, I see why you're no following it. You've got a banner ad on every single one of your pages. But do you know what? They're related pages with related content and they have a related offer to a site that's related. So we will give some juice, what we think is appropriate based on this for each of those websites. Huge, okay? So yeah, we're, we're we, and we haven't even put schema in the site yet. We're going back through and we're outfitting all the projects with um, the crosslinks done the right way with the right limits, you know, per page and per site limits of outbound links, um, how to do no follows right, um, the external authority trust sites, you know, so linking out so that we can deserve it, and um, schema, okay, on top of all the other stuff. And this is to die for because we build our tools in such a way we can add them in. Take them out, <laughs> make adjustments, throw them back in with the adjustments. Now we can see what's going on. Same with schema. We can add schema in. We can take schema out. We can come up with a different schema model for a particular site and put it back in. <laughs> um, there's all We have such total control. So, yeah, we've been at this a while, uh, getting all the stuff right and the monitoring tools, but it allows us to absolutely control the output now, the outcome. So we're doing everything we're supposed to do as website developers to rank uh, on page everything plus understanding what to do with expired backlinks and how to set them up perfectly in such a way that, yeah, we're going to have our monster empires running here real soon. Thanks. Okay.